speaking of the game. But uh, have you, you've never read any of, any of those books? No. My mum got me one of those books. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. It's, behind, uh, it's in the... Par, it's what, the what's it called? It's behind you. It's in the bo- very bottom one. But, what's uh, it called? Does she want to give you a helping hand? Let's, let's get a chapter out. It's the very bottom. Uh, okay, here we go. You can collapse a tariff if, if need be. Get it again. Yeah, all right, you got it. A woman's, that's a... Dr. Nikki Goldstein. That's a good start. Dr. Nikki Goldstein, single but dating. Ten steps to be more... To, ten steps to a more dateable you. Mm. Jewish Jewish uh, dating guide. That doesn't sound too bad, actually. Uh, and then this is... So I'll just read the blurb. Should we read the blurb? Go for it. How many times have you been confronted with a checklist asking you to define yourself as single, married, widowed, or divorced? I'm widowed. But what about those of us who don't see themselves in these boxes? What about the women who are happily single but dating? In recent years, what it means to be a single woman... So this is actually a book for women. In recent years, what it means to be a single woman... <laughs> Your <laughs> mom gave you a dating book for women. For Christmas. Uh, that's a, I think that's, that's probably smart, isn't it? What it means to be a single woman. We're no longer sitting at home waiting for the phone to ring. Sure, we're looking for love. But why should we take ourselves off the market in the meantime? Today, we want to do it all without necessarily saying, I do. Love affairs, casual flings, booty calls, internet dating, holiday romances, finding Mr. Right, Mr. Right Now, and even Mr. Wrong. We are open to the idea of marriage and true love, but are making the most of the single but dating life while we have it. Single but dating is not a set of rules and steps to help you bag a husband <laughs> God. and walk down the aisle. It's a single yeah. girl's guide to life in a modern dating world and the tools she needs to survive and thrive in it. I didn't even... I just thought it was like a... In, I thought that? it was an incel book, but it turns out it's for it's for single women. Yeah. And this is the gift. That's that's incredible. You obviously did not get past the front cover. Fucking hell. <laughs> I didn't even know. <laughs> what, can you imagine uh, me reading? I would commit suicide. I mean, I wouldn't make it through the first chapter. I would get so w- depressed. What's the first chapter called? She's actually very attractive. Oh, they all are. Have you seen any <laughs> any Christ. woman giving a lecture or writing a book she on dating? She holds a bachelor's degree. Always attractive, hey? She holds a bachelor's wow. degree. Wow, <laughs> wow. It's in psychology, but uh, oh, yeah, that's, that's kind of, I think bachelor, where does bachelor come? Why is it a bad, like, what does that mean? This joke's been, I think this joke was overworked in like a 1970s comedy, comedy club in like fucking. What's the deal with a bachelor? You got the bachelor, but you don't actually, you're still a bachelor. Except the S- step one. Well, then we can go through the steps. Go on. Except the SBD environment. What's that? Don't single but single dating. Single but dating single environment. But dating. Yeah, Become yeah. a confident dater. Take control of your sexual identity. <laughs> communicate with the, communicate with and understand the opposite, opposite sex. Yeah. Discover how to meet men. Become technosexual. <laughs> okay. Wow. We got, I, I think we're going to go. We've got to dive into a few of these. Grasp modern, so grasp modern dating etiquette, n- nag- navigate single but dating scenarios, explore the key male personality types, recognize when to move on to the next dating Wait, phase. Wait, the, k- the key male personality types? Yes, page 262. Yeah, let's get into that. What, what are our male dating personality types? I am fucking riveted. Mr. Right versus Mr. Right Now. Okay, so that's... You know, yeah, Mr. Good right. Guy. Okay, okay. Mr. Fuck It, I Want It. Which, I don't know what that means. Even though I'm that an intelligent scary. woman with theories, examples, and even my own Mr. Men series, th- there comes a time in every woman's life where they, where only saying, uh, when the one only saying applies, fuck it, I want it. Think, oh, so that's just, that, Mr. Married? Ooh. Oh, he's an uh, interesting one to go after. My mum literally told, gave me a, a ring one time and said... Wear the ring. Wear the ring out. <laughs> so yeah. She watched the Seinfeld episode. Will, That's where she got we, the idea Women wrong. will they want it, you know. Yeah. They, they, Your mum's wild. She's got schizophrenia. She's, <laughs> she's got problems. Wow. But yes, um, Mr. Married. Yeah, so Mr. Married we've got. Mr. Mr. Married, Power. I'm not that one. Mr. Power. Okay. I could be I, Mr. Power. I reckon you, you'd be Mr. Power. Mr. Power. Mr. Open Mic Power. Okay. Mr. Well, Never Got Closure. Oh, yeah, okay. What does that mean? Probably stuck in the past of some kind. I'm Mr. Power and, and Mr. SBD. 
What's uh? <laughs> no, Mister. <laughs> what? What's what's that? What's Mister? <laughs> Mister. Never got closure. <laughs> what is it? Quick read. Give it a quick. When read. you are an SBD woman, single but dating, there is likely to be at least one guy who broke your heart for no reason you can discern. With this guy, you don't just know what why things crumbled, and you never manage to find out the reasons. These guys are toxic energy, but the memory of them might always niggle at you. When I go back searching for answers to unresolved, uh, to the unresolved, I would give myself the reasons, but we have finished business or but there is just something so strong between us. Your friends will tell you to stay away, remind you of the horrible memories and the time spent in tears, but you will hide encounters, cover up catch-ups and assure them that this time it's different. So Mr. Never Got Closure is, it sounds like it's going back to an old, yeah, yeah, yeah. An old man. Who you shouldn't be going back to. Yeah, so, okay. Um, and I think, oh, Mr. Trying You On For Size. Jeez. Oh, what the f... Just like we practice date, <laughs> so do men. This is why where rejection can be confusing and indirect. Mr. Kryptonite. Mm. There might be other reasons for your attraction to that one. Guys who take away your power make you weak at the knees. You might be suffering from low self-esteem. You might have the fantasy in your head that he is the one. But bottom line, nothing makes sense when he's in the room. I've had mm, interesting. I mean, there's Mister Sex on Legs. Wow, this guy. What's that guy what like? What the feck? This guy is very much appeals to the single but dating woman. If you uh, are not in the market for a future husband and you are enjoying, just remember while I'm reading this out, this was given to me by my mother <laughs> on my twentieth birthday. Um. <laughs> Uh, this is the guy who stands for everything that has ever turned you on, every, th- every fantasy you ever had. He might not be what you want personality-wise, but if you ju- this sounds like me. If you're, just doing <laughs> if you're just going with the flow, why not jig, oh, indulge a little from time to time? Okay, uh, interesting. Mr. Insecure? Yeah, that, that'd be me. We have a lot of level... In, uh, it's supposed to be something that gets better with age. As we progress hope in life, we become more secure in who we are, but instead, the, in the healthy way, finding comfort and confidence in yourself as a person. Many men look for exterior things to insecure, to increase their sense of self-worth, cars, good looks, money, drugs, professions, girls, boats. But in actual fact, the further away these things are from our internal selves, the more insecure we stay inside. Ah, uh, Okay. Hmm. Can I read that again? But in actual fact, the further away these things are from our internal selves, the more insecure. Yeah, okay, that makes. I like. You know, maybe that's I read that's this that's a good one. It's good, Mister Insecure. They can, you can apply that to everything, not just dating. Yeah, you know, there's there's Mister Bad Boy. Uh, that's that's me. that's me. That's me. No, that's me. I think we can both. I think we, we can both. Lead? How is there? There's room for two okay, bad if we, boys. Well, okay, we'll go. If we go out, we'll we'll test. You, Should I'll we be, bring this I'll book? be Mister Insta- Insecure. Ta- you be bad boy. We could take. See this what happens. Okay, every girl is attracted to a bad boy at some stage in life because we are told we shouldn't be. He is uh, usually darling, adventurous, daring, 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 adventurous, exciting, exciting. The life of the party, a lot of fun, and often a bit of a player. Yeah, exactly. He's not doing it because he necessarily has something to prove or is insecure, but because he can and the past has taught him that he can get away with it. Are yeah. these just, is there, is there, is there like a, w- why isn't she telling us what to do with these types of guys? I think this Are these is just the this options. Is, this, is, this is, this is, you can't, is she, she's letting the, 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 everyone know who you're going to meet out there. Okay. Mr. Younger and older guy. Okay. Age mu- might just be a number. Ooh, okay. But in the yeah, dating game, dangerous. it's now more than ever to accept to date older and younger men. But it's important to be aware of your motivations when you do choose to date someone much older or younger. Older okay. men can be attractive because of their life experience and because it might seem as though they have their life together more than men of your age. However, dating an older man can be a case of trading looks for money and it's possibly possible he'll turn out to be Mr. Insecure. What about Mr. <laughs> <laughs> May possibly turn out to be Mr. Insecure. It sounds like like a da- <laughs> like we need a yeah, Mr. Insecure. It sounds like a weird Marvel comic, you know. Yeah. Well, like what's that? What's well, that? What what's that Tarantino the movie? Uh, Reservoir Dogs. They got Mr. Pink, Mr. White. Yeah. He should have called them this: Mr. Bad Boy, Mr. Insecure, Mr. Older versus Younger Men. Where's Where's the younger men? Because that's what I want to I want to figure out where. Younger, there's all. It's just about old. They say, yeah, this is what they talk about. This when it comes to that, like dating and sex now, old, older and younger men. It's always just older men. 
Yeah, there's no girls there's going no for younger men. Well, maybe, maybe there Probably. is. Probably. There, there I don't definitely know anything be. about this. This is why we're getting in the book. We need M- the book to tell us. Here we go. But just like with Mr. Older Guy, date Mr. Younger Guy because you want the excitement and the fun because you are attracted to him and he's attracted to you, not because of his age and a and because your ability to get him is an ego boost. If that's the case, it might then just be a superficial and short ride. All right. <laughs> <laughs> get me aroused. The, pla- the pla- platonics? Platonics, yeah. These might not be the men in your life whom you date, and they can be a great benefit to you and your SBD world. But their presence can also provide some negative influences. That's that... That that's the friend. That's the friend that's hanging around, hoping that the girl's gonna eventually start being attracted to him. Mm. And the books, the poor guy in this book is being presented as a guy who's not, you know, is not is not is not great for the situation for her to be dating. I've definitely been that guy. Oh wow! Um, and then there's Don't a well, Mr. Platonic friend. It's easy, no competitive... Mr. Platonic friend could also be Mr. Insecure. Well, does it say... I mean, you could be... You could fucking have a career here. Uh, it's easy, no... Yeah, all the same shit, you know, same... same. Um, Mr. Mr. Platonic husband. Oh, no, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> it sounds like my dad. That's it. It sounds like how my dad... It sounds like any guy after a 50-year relationship. Yeah, I'd make it 15, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> make it 10 weeks But yes uh, That one guy who means more than Other male friends And whom it feels as though You have been married for 35 years You are best friends Fight a lot And don't have sex Alright uh, Mr. Gusband oh, Mr. Gusband is not just the gay friend <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gusband Oh my god Continue <laughs> Mr. Please continue Mr. Gusband <laughs> That could you imagine? That's what you call the gay friend. You call your gay friend my husband. Oh my god! Oh wow, Mr. Gusband, he, <laughs> he is a, a gay male. That word. In your <laughs> it's, a, it's the worst word. It's the worst, the worst word. word my husband. I'll go out with a few of my husbands. That's offensive. That that'd be <laughs> that'd be it, offensive. It's just so b- poorly produced. Like it's so oh. it's so rushed. She 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 had this personality in her head but she didn't know what she made that word up. Yeah. Gusband is not if I put in Gusband on the internet now. In fact, let's just do a test cuz I reckon it's not even going to come up as a thing. I don't think that's a I word. think if you put that into urban dictionary, there's you're not going to find a Gusband. Oh, it's just <sighs> guz. There's just not a great syllable. Let alone Gusband. Gusband. It won't even let me do it. It auto corrects the husband. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> a husband. <laughs> Looking for a husband. Oh, yeah. A gay husband. There you go. Gay husband, gay friend. Oh, no, it is in there, but it's very niche, I think. Anyway, let's read this. He's a gay male in your life who has seen you naked, probably against his will. <laughs> Wow, we're getting, this is Jesus, this is insightful. Deep in this book, <laughs> you have a shared guy. a bed, <laughs> been on holidays, held each other's hair back over the toilet after big nights, cried in each other's arms, and snuggled on the couch together, watching movies, drinking wine, and scrolling through the men on Grinder or Scruff. God, Scruff! I've never heard of Scruff. Sounds like a terrible um, friend to have to. Sometimes be in a the gay with. world can be a safe and fun place for straight women. Yet we saw that last night in plenty, plentifully. But many also hide out there. For me, for me, my husbands. <laughs> husbands. <laughs> She's got heaps of husbands. Any any woman who writes this book has many husbands. Uh huh. I mean, the, this I is like know. the husband capital of the world is self help guru books. It, that, women. Yeah. I didn't realize women do the self help guru. That's such. I thought that was such a masculine like cold showers, wake up at four a.m., do push ups, start a business. Like that was the male. <laughs> that's a male self help guru. I you know. That's all we're exposed to though. We have a mutual friend whose brother does yeah. self-help for women. Yeah, right. Same thing, literally, this, but more like aggressive. Y- yeah, but he's okay. taking the male self-help like David Goggins to women. Okay. Um, oh, the modern dear. woman these days has to sometimes put on a front. All right, we're moving on from the husband. What were the other... In- that was, I mean, the husband. I have... Gusband. Gusband. I'm looking for a husband. Do you have a husband? Uh no, I used to have a lot of lesbian friends. What's that? 
Lesbian. Lesbian. No, wife. Life. Life. A life. A life partner. Life. You have a life. Yeah, yeah life. she's not like, <laughs> she's just a lesbian is my wife. Life. Like lesbian wife. Lesbian wife. Yeah, I used <laughs> to have life. a big friend. Uh, I have a life. Uh, I used to be in a big What's it like having a lesbian group. friend? They're great. That's they can't, cool. yeah, they're, 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 they're aggressive though. Yeah, that could like they party, they party hard, and they, um, uh, yeah, they bitch a lot, and but they're full of life, great oh. to hang out with, yeah. not a, never a dull moment. No, they're having fun. Yeah, they they're, have a they're, great time. They're, 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 how about this one? Become a technosexual. Yeah, what is? I want to know what technosexual is. One sixty five. If if anyone wants this book, they can come and take, take it. it from. Me. <laughs> I think I've brought like women. I've brought women back here, and they must have seen this book lying around. Yeah, well, maybe you can leave it out. Maybe I should leave it out more on purpose. Yeah, a techno. Oh, it's about dating online and dating. On well, maybe I should. W- what to reply? Techno when should you reply? I feel like that's the wrong word to be using. It sounds like you're only attracted to people online. Respect, polite phone rejection. Respect with a call. Are you being rejected? Are you overdoing contact? <laughs> what uh, is what's in a like indirect public communication? Uh, if you you're too mean, you can can you still keep them keen? Delivered messages. Are you reading too many self help books? That's a good delivered. She, at this point, she's taking through like what delivered delivered means. What does it mean? Driving yourself crazy over delivered messages. Thanks to recent increases in technology, we were able to communicate effectively and pr- promptly, but we're also left watching and waiting to see when that message will be returned. Text, text expectation. Oh, wow. <laughs> text. It's too much. Text expectation. Too much. But it is. Um, oh, hold on. It's relevant. Online stalking, positives and negatives. Just give us the positives. <laughs> what are the positives? We all know the <laughs> negatives. What are the positives? Oh my god! One of my closest girlfriends, or girlfriends, well, girl, girlbins, guys, keep going. <laughs> uh, told me t- to Google every guy I meet or was going on a date with, just in case. I thought she was a bit crazy, but about this, but she did manage to find out two men we met one night and thought they were rather cute. H- had actually got done hard time in prison in South America. That would make, if I was a female, that would make them more attractive. Is that a positive? I think that's a positive. That's under a positive? I think it's a negative, but in my opinion, like you, that, you, it's Tony Montana. So if you, if you meet someone in public, the logical thing to do would be to <laughs> find them online, stalk their social media. And find out their El, El Salvadorian prison, find the prison records from uh, Nicaragua. And get the tick of approval. Figure out. Well, this you is know, a, this is a go ahead. This is he, he did ten years in uh, El, 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 prison Pelican in uh, prison, El Salvador. Yeah. Mm. Sounds like a fun guy. Um, uh, I I don't know. I, I know you shouldn't judge, but uh, that this was probably a bit too much for me and far from the picture that, pardon me, they had painted for themselves. The online stalk, as handy as it can be, can also work against you. No shit. It's sometimes useful to know things about a potential date, like whether he's married. I guess that's true. But on the other hand, I hate when men Google me because they might make a quick judgment on what they see. That's literally what you've just... You've just said that that's what you should do. You literally was like... Women should do it, but guys... You were literally... That's literally... Yeah, nah, it's good because I can (laughs) quickly make a judgment and know if I... But I don't like when they do it to me, which is... This woman sounds incredible. She's with her guzbans and going after guys with 10 years old. You do the same thing. I mean, you do the same thing. I don't Google... I know a lot of guys do. I I've I, never I mean, I, I do heap, I, I mean I've done heaps of stupid shit, but I don't I don't I don't Google prison records in El Salvador. Uh, where he's married, but on the hand, I hate when uh, yes. oh yeah, Google Google me because they might judge on what they some sexual sexologist who takes photos with sex things and dildos. What about the what? That does not make. But on the other hand, I hate when men Google me because they might make a quick judgment on what they see. Some, no full stop, some sexologist who takes photos with sex things, oh, this is her. She's a sexologist yeah. who takes photos with sex things and dildos. 
and stalks guys who've been ten, and ten years in prison and has gusbands. <laughs> the, the, the poor gusbands, she's Gusbans. like drinking a bottle she of wine to their wine. wine this, one red I mean, wine. the Goldstein is, would probably they, 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 they cut that. But anyway. <laughs> 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 this woman sounds crazy, man. Goldstein. Goldstein. <laughs> Goldstein! <laughs> Done it again. <laughs> Goldstein gets another victim. Like. <laughs> okay, all right. No, we love Goldstein. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, the real Nikki, do they find Oh, uh, yeah, so some uh, sexting and cock shots. <laughs> cock. I've never heard a dick pic. I've never heard a dick pic be called a cock shot. She sounds really. Um, a cock shot. Like, horny. Cock shot. She sounds horny. All the language she's using is. Well, she's a sexologist. She's not getting into sexology. <laughs> it's like a mixologist. You don't get into sexology. A mixologist just sexologists? No. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> I guess they're mixing spirits to try and get people spirits. inebriated. Why do they call them spirits? Because you're searching for... For deeper... Me- deeper if you've got a Bacardi in, in your hand... Yeah. <laughs> it's That's actually an interesting word. Spirit. Mm. Drinking some spirits. Mm. It's... Yeah. You're trying to... You're trying to... Put inside of yourself the thing that you are missing. Spirit. Spirit. Find a sense of spirit. Yeah. And it always ends with a potential sui- suicide risk. Mm-hmm. I'm, <laughs> sh- I'm shitting the bed or something. <laughs> I just shut out my spirit. Right. <laughs> Eat too much spirits. <laughs> your body will reject the spirits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you got to get the balance right. I love co- the word cock shot. Cock shot. Cock shot, otherwise known as dick pics. New norm. Is that a new norm? How to send a sexy pic? Oh, she's not sent, She's not right. She's not putting the pros and cons of cock shots. Send some. This is how to. S- we've got a few dot points on how to send a sexy pic. Oh God! You ready? Yeah. Okay. Send something suggestive and sexy with still some clothes on. It can be fun to entice him just a little. This woman's nuts. Show one piece of your body. It's always oh. it's a way to show your sexy side, but leave him wanting more. Be naked, but not naked. Oh my god! This is in, it is impo- it is possible to imply nudity when you're <laughs> oh not no. entirely nude. Maybe have your hand over the right area or sheet covering the bits that count. Hide the face, angles and lighting. Angles it just like wow. What should you do once it's sent? You might want to compare the amount of nudity with. How well you know the guy? That's probably a good idea. Before you send it, ask him not to show anyone else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Before sending, please ask him, please don't show anyone else. If you're feeling insecure and you're single and you really would, you really like a guy, get naked. Get a, just a, a small tea towel. Place it over your nipples. And send a really sexy photo of your body to this guy. Make sure to to plead with him after you send it. Please don't show. Please don't show this to anyone else. <laughs> oh my God! I think Kathy Goldstein. Mate, right, this is. Oh, what to consider when you receive a cock shot? <laughs> this is good. Things to consider when you see receive a cock shot. <laughs> <laughs> what are they considering? Okay, what do we think? What do we think they're considering? Okay. Uh, Ooh. This guy, things to consider, um, size. Re- yeah, okay. Yeah, size yeah. would be the first thing. What's the size? Color, STDs. Color. If there's a syphilis, yeah. Sore. Spots, <laughs> spots. spots and wounds. <laughs> wounds. Yeah. <laughs> Open or Any, closed scars. E- e- well, either they have to discern. You have to a be tattoo. discerning. Tattoos. Tattoos. <laughs> Tattoos definitely. Veins. Veins. Is vein veins? We can look at veins. Maybe might be in there. Uh. Uh. Erect or um, flaccid. Usually, that would be so funny if you just <laughs> sent a flaccid <laughs> cock shot. Well, 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 I was talking to a. I was years ago. I was talking to a girl about a um, group of girls about dick pics, and yeah. they were saying that a, an erection, an erect, erected cock shot, <laughs> an erected cock shot would actually be more offensive than a flaccid. They would. They they said that a flaccid cock shot. Slash dick pic would be more endearing than a yeah, er, erected cockshot is too um, aggressive. They said, 
So, well, maybe you send a before, like the before, you do like both. You send a flaccid and then a 10 sequence, minutes. a sequence of it growing, you. of it growing. You send time lapse. Please, <laughs> and, and after you send it, please don't show. <laughs> please don't show this to anyone else. Oh no! Please don't show the first few photos <laughs> to anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what are they? What are they? Nikki Goldstein. Is it going to look bigger or different in photos thanks to angles and lighting? This is a female perspective that we need, and we're not, we weren't achieving at all. Remember, she just told her husbands and girlfriends, yeah, to use angles and lighting to make yourself look better. Yeah, but not, but but to be wary of it when guys are doing it with their cock shot. What does this say about the type of relationship you are in? <laughs> I mean, it does say something. That's if a guy you hardly know. Or you, you have met online is so easily offering a photo of his penis, then odds are he's wanting to bed you and a dinner date might not be on the cards. Okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, you can also redirect this with how you deal and respond to this shot. Decline the offer of a nude f- shot. Scold him for sending it. And you could turn this around so your actions say, I would rather date you, but if you play the nude photo game, bedroom time is on. I love calling it bedroom t- bedroom time. Bedroom time. time. <laughs> Send a cock shot. You might get some bedroom time. So, so she's giving an option. If you get the cock shot, you can either say aggressively shut it down. Please no. I want dinner time. <laughs> but if you want uh, bedroom time, you welcome the cock shot. Welcome the cock shot. <laughs> Far out. That's right. Wild. She's luckily she's got a bachelor's degree. Yeah. Well, oh, I mean, that's I guess that's what qualifies. If she did not have a ba- you have to have a bachelor's degree to kind of get get into this. I reckon this well, is. Well, she's obviously she's not a clinical psychologist because you need a um, you need a PhD, I think, to become a clinical psychologist. No, she doesn't have a PhD. No, no, it's just a ba- so she, bachelor's. She, she's batched she, out. So she hasn't actually worked this batched out with out. anyone. She's just kind of from her this journals. This is her own. So yeah. Yeah, has he asked you not to show this shot to anyone else? Yeah. This is what important to consider as even though it might be a fling, it still doesn't mean you should break someone's trust. That's good. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Don't go sending this... Cock shots. Cock shot. No cock shots. I don't appreciate... I'd just say no to cock shots. Whoa. What? What? I'd is there a cock shot? In the book. <laughs> that would be incredible. <laughs> things to look out for in the cock shot. <laughs> and then what do you... D- like arrows pointing what to There's a few things that have just happened on the bottom of this page. Tell me, yeah. But I've got to finish f- how to react. What do you do with the shot when you get it? Maybe you want to get rid of it. Maybe you want to keep it around. But I wouldn't suggest having it in your camera roll. I've been caught out with that one before and it makes for an awkward moment when someone is looking at your smartphone as you scroll through the to show some- them something else. This is where your secret my folder app will come in handy. Dr. Nikki Goldstein, <laughs> the sexologist, has been caught out That's for having a cock shot, <laughs> forgetting to put her cock shot in the secret folder of her <laughs> iPhone. I love the fact she's plugging an app. Is she? M- the my folder app. The my folder app. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Yeah, great. Now, this is in bold at the bottom of this page. Okay. When you find what's in his phone. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I might be rather playful when it comes to the cog shots. <laughs> 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 oh, here we go. This is a turn. And it's halfway the, through the, the book as well. The cog shots that come my way, but I had an experience that nearly made me stop sending any pics of myself. Oh, wow. I once b- briefly dated a guy who believed that he could confide in me about everything. One of our conversations turned to photos other women had sent him. And I must admit, I was curious to see. Like anything you shouldn't see, you're curious to see it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Like you're talking about those people getting shot in the videos before. You're this curious to see what happens. How does she get herself in this situation? And then why would you put it in a book? Well, it's going, uh, this is so... This is, this this is, is not normal. This book is a cocaine brunch chat. Yeah. This is wild. Men pitch businesses on cocaine. Women talk about cock shots and camera rolls and the my folder. So she's got herself into a situation where a guy was wanted to open up to her about 
the fact that he had lots oh. of photos of other girls in his phone and wanted to show and her. And now he's showing. So that means that also means that if you're sending him, oh, and he's showing it he's to all showing, the other girls. But then he, I came across one name, Kelly. And as I clicked on the folder, so she's actually, cl- she, she's not even showing, she's just been given the phone. She's given the phone. Just t- take it. Ali, uh, you know, these were not just shots of vulvas and boobs. They were sexual acts, legs wide open, and really nothing left to the imagination. What's a vulva? Vagina. Something, some part of that, I think. Some part of it in that universe. I came across one named Kelly, and as I clicked on the folder, it was full of naked, raunchy photos, but Kelly was a friend of mine. Kelly was a friend of hers. And I was unaware that they had ever dated. Oh, no. The way he Doctor spoke about Vicky. her as though she was just another pair of breasts. Oh. She put tits, but I'm a bit... I'm yeah, a bit, let's... Let's keep it a bit. Yeah, come on. Let's round it out disgusting. a little bit. And proudly show me these photos. Can we... Just another quick reminder who gave me this book. Your mum. <laughs> <laughs> Your mother. Remember, this is what it says in this book. That my mum gave me. At least I want to know someone before I send them any sexy or p- anything sexy or partially clothed. My mum said. Yeah. <laughs> These were not just shots of vulvas and boobs. They were sexual acts, legs wide open, and really nothing left to the imagination. Nothing left to the imagination. From my mother. Wow. 